someone says something and it was so funny because um they, they they make you and i to understand that a lot of us children of god we want to overcome the, the strategies and the plan of a full-time devil the enemy is full-time he's in full-time occupation he's doing exactly what he was created to do full-time we want to be partial christians we want to do exactly what we know we should not be doing and then overcome who are we deceiving you make the word of God an alternative and expect it to bring permanent results. Hey, the Bible says self-deception is, I say self-deception is the worst form of deception. I'm picking it from the scripture that says you will de you're deceiving yourself when you look into the perfect law of liberty and not practice. What are we saying? As a child of God, daddy has said is a month to overcome. Overcome especially distractions. I'm telling you this month, the kind of distractions you will see is the kind you have never seen. But the victories are sure. The one person that you want to study and understand his life and how he overcame is Elijah. The spirit and the power of Elijah has been released upon the kingdom of God upon us like never before. Take your time and study the spirit of Elijah and the power of Elijah because that's what we are walking in. But a lot of my children says that he are walking without understanding of what the time and the seasons are. It's the season for the grace to walk like Elijah did. The, the seemingly one man army destroying thousands and millions of principalities and powers and bringing them to subjection to the power and rulership of our King and Lord Jesus bringing every contrary kingdom to bow to the lordship of the king of kings and the lord of lords gates opening so that the king of glory can walk in that's the season we are in i want you to know that if you understand this season study elijah understand the principles he applied saint tomakate kalibrokusa choose to walk in the same spirit and dimension of power he walked in those distractions, they will be so in, invisible or their tangibility and their effectiveness will be like puff air. But if you don't understand, worse still, you don't do what is required. You are not planning to overcome. Let's look a little bit into the life of Elijah this morning. Who is Elijah? This is a man that didn't have a background with God. The Bible didn't tell us about family. He didn't tell us about how he grew. It didn't. It just told us where he came from. One of the outstanding men of God with no background introduction in the world. We don't know his mother. We don't know his father. It is one hundred percent certain that he was not married, because we don't know about his child. <laughs> oh my, 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 my! Are you having distraction from family members? Are you having distraction from oh my wife, my children, my husband? It's your excuse not to overcome because no, you cannot give those excuses and make it. If you want to make it, your focus has to be like Elijah. He was extremely focused. He refused to be moved. He confronted what was confronting him, not by his strength, not in his own time. He listened to daddy and he followed instructions and he made it. If you will make it because you want to overcome, your focus has to be unique. It has to be so clear. You have to know your target. You have to know your like we said on Sunday, for those that follow uh, our recordings, you know, two Sundays ago at B Build Relationship Institute, we said that this month or this season is a season where relationships are going to want to be in your way. And when God gives this word, we want to be for the lookout. If I didn't have this word today, today that I'm recording, the level of relational distractions that came my way from the morning up to this hour in the evenings that I'm recording, all I could do is I say, oh, daddy, thank you for declaring the end from the beginning. So do you think that will be the end? No, but I'm ready. I am prepared.
I'm prepared to stand with daddy. I'm prepared to stand with him in prayers and prepare to stay in the place of the world because I want overwhelming victory this month no compromise no wasting and idling of time if anything is threatening to stand in your way of victory you need to make up your mind and overcome by choice it's by choice overcome by choice you will not overcome this month just because you wish to you will not overcome just because the word has come you have to choose to overcome and walk towards overcoming amen amen and amen stay focused and overcome in jesus name amen